Now I had to I had a question. One of the viewers of uh, my tracer videos about how to edit settings on this thing. So I'm trying to get some light here. So you can see you can scan left and right through the items. There's my solar panels bringing in 50.8 volts. <coughs> There's my battery at 11.8 volts. That's not good. It's because I got the 100 watt light bulb on it to try and get you some light. And my uh, solar panels are iced up. So they're not doing so well. And then the third item is the uh, that the power's on. So the <coughs> question was <coughs> how to set some of the settings here. So I'm going to scroll to my amp hours. This was the question, how to set this guy. So I've got mine set to 90 because I have a, a AGM battery in there, about 90 amp hours. I think it's 92 amp hours or something. Anyways, what you do, you press the set button here, and that puts that puts the little icon up here. Now what I can do is click left or right on the button, see 100 amp hours, back down to 90. LCD is a little cold because it's minus 9 here. Up to 80, 90. So I'm going to set it at 90, at 90 here. Press the button there. And then I can go on to my next thing. If I want to, um, <coughs> I don't think you can set state of charge there. Now here I can set my type. Flooded, AGM, well, there's no AGM. <coughs> so I'll click my set button here. You see the icon comes up. And then I can click, click through the options here. So sealed lead acid. There's my gel. There's my flooded. So I press the set again to set that. And then I can go on to the next option. And here's my timer. So if I want to set my timer, I set the set button. My icon comes up and then I can set the uh, the timer there. Oops. Now you see in that case the dash dropped down to the bottom number. So because there's two timers on this one. I'm going to press my set again. Just turn it off. And then there you go. So I'm back at my light bulb there. So I set all I can. Unfortunately with this one you can't set the <coughs> the voltages. On some of the higher model uh, tracer units you can. Um, but anyways, this one you can't. So, so yeah, just um, to edit a setting, just go to the setting you want. So the amp hours, hit the set button, wait for your little monkey wrench to come up, and then you can press up or down on it. Once you're done, done configuring, press your set button, that gets you out of set mode. You can probably press escape too, but anyways, so that's how you do it. So I'll shut this light off and let my battery charge because uh, my voltage is pretty low here. It is pulling in uh, some amps, but uh, I'm sucking a lot of amps too. Anyways, that's it. Thought I'd show you how to edit it. It's fairly easy. This is the meter that comes with all the the basic tracer units. Now, uh, <coughs> I see Renogy or EP Solar has a couple of new units out with a fancy new meter on it. So um, I need to check that out, but uh, it's not cheap. I think the, the new units are going for about 500 bucks on uh, eBay. So, mine's a 20 amp unit for the cost of this, plus the meter. I think it, I got it off for about 200 bucks. So, anyways, I hope that helps someone um, configure it. Read your manual for more uh, more details there. But yeah, that's the basic uh, gist of it.